I look like a glazed donut. Sprinkle donut. What's up, suckers? Welcome back to Everything Courtney. I am getting a late start to my day, like really late. It is almost 1.30. I had plans. I had I had better time plans today, but you know what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's life. Better late than never, I guess. So I am about to go just do some stuff I've been wanting to do, but could not do because work just seems to be in the way. <laughs> my car is a mess. I want to vacuum my car out so bad. Ugh, like I just need my car vacuumed out. So I'm gonna go there first. Actually, I'm kidding. I'm going to the gas station first because my gas light came on the way home yesterday and I refused to stop. I got 29 miles to empty. I'm gonna go to the gas station. I'm gonna go to the gas station and get some gas before I'm walking. But first, look how cute this cup is. <sighs> my friend and coworker got it for me for Christmas. My classroom theme, if you've seen it, is sunflowers. So it's like a sunflower, isn't it so cute? <laughs> And it says, never let the hard days win, which is a very good motto to keep because those kids make some days so hard. But I don't really wanna talk about my kids. I'm on Christmas break, so to the gas station. Y'all, as a grown adult, me and the car wash still have a hate-hate relationship. Like, I get so much anxiety trying to put my car, like, okay, is it in neutral the right time? Should, should my foot come off the brake yet? Like. Is it too early? I can't see. Like, I don't know. It's like all these crazy thoughts we run through your mind in a car wash. And I don't know. I always just feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. Like just now, I still have my foot when I, I still have my foot on the brakes when I should have had my foot off the brakes. And I'm just, I don't know. I just get so scatterbrained in here. It should be relaxing, but it's just like going to the nail salon. I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> Why do I not enjoy it? I'm just here for the free vacuum. <laughs> let, me, let me breathe, let me enjoy this. But look, we're almost over. It's almost done. Yay! Get me out. Get me out. It's almost time for me to take my foot off. To put my phone on the brake, so let me go back. Oh my gosh. I hate cleaning my car. It's hot. That's it. Kind of bull kind of. I spent so much time looking over, looking over my shoulder, making sure people ain't trying to walk up on a girl, cause folks is crazy. I need a little pick me up. Cold brew, do what it do, baby. I got my dog. I look like a glazed donut. Sprinkle donut. We all the fine people. Y'all don't wash your cars on Saturday mornings. I mean, it's people out here, but I ain't really checking for y'all for real. Mm -mm. Some of y'all look like y'all driving family cars. <laughs> now, am I driving a family car? Mm. Beside the point. Ooh. Let me go get brush some lotion because he is ass she. Let me get out of the business. They were that folks on clean their cars. Here I am. He must have got right out the shop. I said, you know what? I'm clean. Let me go clean my car. Oh my gosh, my, I am cramping so bad. Ah! See, I'm just trying to understand. Since I don't have a man yet, this feels like something my daddy or my brother should be doing, if I'm not mistaken. I just, you know, I'm all for the independent woman. Yeah, we can we can do it all. However, why should I look like this? Huh? Why? Guess it's my cardio for the day. I'll take that. Okay. Make me feel a little bit better about my decision. Not much. The way these cramps set up, don't nobody say nothing to Courtney. Okay? Oh my gosh. Oh Lord. Oh, oh. What did I do to deserve these cramps? I thought you were supposed to grow out of cramps. I thought when you get, you know, father alone, they're supposed to go away. God dang. I ain't gonna lie, that took longer than I needed it to. I ain't really tired, but I was tired of doing that, okay? So, I'm at Walgreens now. My cousin, natural hair is popping, and she told me this new product she's been using, so I'm gonna go see if I can find it. She told me I could find one of the products in Walgreens. So I'm gonna see if I see it in here, and I also need to get me some pain pills because these cramps. Woo! Oh, I thought the 
that caffeine in the coffee was supposed to do something or was gonna do something, but you know what? I should've known better because my doll ain't never did nothing. So who was out of food? <laughs> Myself, me. So I'ma go and um, get some of that. And I was gonna go home and take a shower, but if I go home, I don't think I'm coming back at the house. <laughs> so let me go ahead and run all my errands while I'm already out. Before I go ahead though, I'ma get some of this car perfume. Bath and Body Works had a sale. The uh, You're the One, it smells good. And it's my car perfume for like, oh, I forgot my perfume before I left the house. So, you know, I've been doing a lot. Give me a little refresh. Okay, fresh enough. At least I look like I just came from the gym. So if I'm a little musty, they'll attribute it to that and not the fact that I was out there slaving in this heat trying to get my car clean. Let's go. It's 16.99, so I hopefully do good on my hair too. And they have an intensive hair mask that's 18.99, that's 18 but I think I'm gonna try it too. It's only one left. Like everything is so out of here. Look. Let's see. I did want to open it and do all my stuff in the store. You know how customer service likes to tussle when you open products, so I didn't want to have to do that today. Hmm. It smells clean, like not too heavily scented, which is a good thing because even though products smell good, what did you put in your product to make it smell like that? And now I gotta put it in my hair? Mmm, red flag. <laughs> it smells, it actually smells a lot like the hair mask. Now I did open this, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta make sure nobody put their finger in it because there's no little protector around it. Mm -mm. But it, mm, yeah. Ooh. I'm excited, ooh. Trying to stay on task. I also need to put a Band-Aid on this burn. Look at it, it's like peeling out. <sighs> Excuse the cyst here, but yeah, it's peeling and it opened up. I see like hairs trying to grow in or whatever. I wiped it with an alcohol wipe, so hopefully that's good enough for it. You know when you clean your car, it's not clean until you get a new scent in it. Kind of like when you clean your house and the house not officially clean until you light that candle. So I have a vent clip from Bath & Body Works that had a sale the other week. It's my first time buying one and I got the Black Merlot because I love that one. It's so strong. If you get the Black Merlot candle, you literally don't even have to light it. You just open the top in your house and it is booming in the room. Now I'm gonna go get some face wash and stuff from Ulta. And it's the perfect timing because I got a coupon in the mail <laughs> for 20% off at Ulta. So guess what? I'm gonna use it. Y'all, it was so crazy in Ulta. I want to bring y'all in there with me and like just shop around a little bit, see some stuff, but I couldn't. It was so many people. The line was wrapped to the back of the hair studio. I've never seen Ulta's line like that. I did go and get my CRV. That was the one thing I went in there for. I got the value size, the 16 fluid ounces. It was like $2 more than the 14 fluid ounces. So I'm like, mm, $2, get it. And I also got some retinol serum. TikTok was the, the reason I did this. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about retinol and like how good it is for your skin, like how it rejuvenates, like I think it's collagen, all these other things. So I'm like, yeah, that sounds like something I need. <laughs> but it was like estheticians. Now, can I prove the estheticians? No. But they seem to know they stuff. Now that I say that loud, I just see how ridiculous it sounds. But hey, I wanted to try it out for myself. Like my skin is clearing up. I want my skin back how it was like my first two years of college. And I'm praying my skin does not try to purge on me because I'm gonna do that at 27. At my big age, I don't want skin purge. So while I'm standing in line, I remember it was another reason I wanted to come to Ulta and it was to look into products for what they call on the streets, chicken skin. It affects the way your hair follicles look and like it clogs it. I have it on like the sides of my kneecaps on both of them, a little bit on the back of my legs and a head on the back of my arms. But I've been using this red thing, let me show you. I use this for my like washcloth for my whole body as an exfoliant but i have a washcloth for the things i need a washcloth you feel me because this ain't going everywhere <laughs> okay but i've been using this for a while now it came from a longer piece my sister let me cut a piece off of hers and i've had it for a long time i like it i don't use loofahs anymore because that just holds moisture bacteria just disgusting if you think about it what in the world were we washing with but no offense to those who still like loofahs, I'm just saying. Is it dry when you use it? Okay. 
this gets completely dry. It was some products I wanted to look into and one of them was this uh, First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser Body Scrub. It has 10% AHA. But apparently it's good for your, for your skin, for what about that going on? And it says safe for sensitive skin. It's an exfoliant, so I know it's gonna help open up the pores of my hair follicles and get the clogs out. This is gonna be my first time buying it and trying it, so I'm gonna do that so y'all can kind of see. The instructions say to apply product onto wet skin and gently massage over prominent area, rinse and follow with moisturizer. It does not say what to massage it with, so I'm gonna just use my hand. That's my problem area. That's hot! I would like to say, I thought of that it looks the same. <laughs> It's not irritating. It now I will say they look a little more like prominent. Like I can see the follicles a little more prominently. So maybe that's what it, you know it's supposed to do. Get the attention like hey, 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 hold on. <laughs> What's going on here? But I wonder how long it would take to see like real results if I only do it twice a week. Drop my leg. He's on CV. Come on, little leg. Heal. Be your best self. Oh, my boohoo finally came. I'm gonna try it on. Ooh, okay, let me do my little leg first. Boohoo, I've been waiting on you. Boohoo, I've been waiting on you. All right. I remember, nah. I didn't remember buying two things. It looks like I did. Oh, I bought some leggings. Oh, I forget. Let me see. All that waiting for them. They won't even go all the way up. <laughs> ah! See if my sister can fit these, because it's a no. I have mixed feelings about this dress. I'm not going to lie. I guess it's supposed to be kind of oversized, but like in a sexy way. I wouldn't wear it all the way down, but anyway. Anyway, so I probably would only button it to here. I love the sleeves, but do it, doesn't it look like kind of like too big? I know one thing, I'm so glad I went until it went on sale because when it first dropped, it was like $60. I was like, think about it, I'm like, girl, yeah, right. And then the next day on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, it dropped at 24. I'm like, sounds more like it. I don't know, I'm back to my sister. All right, what do you think about this dress? Is this off the record? No. What? Tell me your opinion. I think it can be cuted up. Is that a word? No, I know what you mean. It can be something. It can be, um, <sighs> it's cute. It but is. But it's missing something. I Maybe know. like a belt. But like, what kind of belt would I wear with it since it has buttons? <laughs> and I feel like if I got a size, if I got a size down, it would have been too tight. Cause I was, you know those boots I got? <laughs> From DSW. Mm -hmm. You can put your belt on with that. Put it right yeah. between the two buttons. Right? <laughs> right there. Yeah. Something. But it is cute. I love yeah. the style and the side splits. Mm -hmm. You know, and I can wear my new short boots with it. Yeah, we have to put it on again. Or my long snake boots I just got. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or like a like a thigh high boot. You could try it. Oh, I gotta go DSW. Don't go to play with me, girl. We'll be back in the street. <laughs> Y'all, we ain't no good. <laughs> All right, let me take this off. I'm literally just now eating. It's ridiculous. I need to put a bandaid on this. This thing is starting to itch so bad. I'm gonna have a tuna salad. So I got a cute little fruity drink with a little lime wedge. Trying to be cute or whatever. Uh, if you have not had it. These right here, right here. I'm gonna just show you what it look like. These sh white chocolate sugar cookies, <sighs> so good. I will get sick off of these. Right? Mmm, -hmm. delicious. 
probably my fourth one today. I'm gonna have to take the bag out of my room. You know, now that I'm not working right now for these two weeks, it's like I'm trying to come off of the high of like being on go every day, like having to be and like just enjoying doing what I want to do or what I need to do and I just always feel like oh something else I need to do it's like something else and I'm just trying to really enjoy being free and being able to be in control of my schedule again that's something I miss before I was just you know not working like those four years just out here just doing whatever I want to do whatever I want to do it and now being back on somebody else's timetable definitely not one of my favorite days but I work hard and I struggle every day right now to get back there. Like I have goals I'm trying to reach and accomplish. And sometimes I mean, you gotta be in a season of like doing stuff you just simply do not wanna do. And working is one of those things. Like, well, working for somebody else and like my day being, you know, mapped out for somebody else. Mapped out because, mapped out the way somebody else wants my day to go. It's really been hitting hard like these last couple of weeks. One day I was driving home last week and I just like had this analogy in my head of like, like I saw myself as a worker bee. Like I don't know if you've ever seen the bee movie, but I thought about him. I'm like, I feel like how Jerry Seinfeld's character felt on that movie. Like get up, go to work, go home. So you go to sleep, to get up, to go to work, to go home. So you get up and go to work. It's just like, and to think like, that is what life will continue to be like if I don't really make a decision and be intentional about like doing something different. And I'm just not the person who wants to do that for the rest of my life. Some people are okay with it. Like teaching has its ups, has a lot of downs. Like right now, this these kids right now is, is so challenging. And being a first year teacher is even more of a challenge on top of the challenges that are like, these kids are given. Like I have veteran teachers who have been teaching for years coming to me and telling me like, it's hard for all of us. Or like, don't feel bad. Like it's, it's rough right now. It's hard out here. And I'm like, dang. And then you seeing people talking about quitting. They, don't wanna, they no longer want to teach. It's so many job openings as teachers right now. Excuse me, because people just don't want to deal with it. And it is such a struggle, but I don't want to give up on my kids. However, I was sitting at my small table one day teaching and I was just like looking around. I was like, God, I said, I do want to be a person who works with the youth, but not in this capacity. And it was just like so clear as day. I'm like, yeah, no, this, the classroom isn't how I want to do it forever. And so I hear people like encouraging me, oh, get your masters. No, uh, do this. My head, mm, that sounds okay. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, no. And that's cool. Some people like want to do this for the rest of their life. They want to retire doing this. And I'm just not, no. There's so much more for me. And I gotta get it. I gotta go out there and get it. Like, I've just been having that lady. And that's why I've been working so hard on YouTube, you know, for the vlogmas. I've been working so hard trying to be consistent because if I can be consistent for these like 20 days, then there's no excuse any other time. Like, I can do it. And I have to prove it to myself. I'm proving it to me. It's not even about people anymore, it's about me because Courtney wants more. And she's gonna get it and like y'all are gonna witness it like a year from now this video is gonna be like that reference video like dang she said it she's doing it like it's more for me even if my view counts are kind of discouraging at time like it's not getting a lot of traffic i know i'm like in and out being consistent and that doesn't help but my intention my drive is so different because it's fueled by like more there's i have intention behind it and so yeah that's just that. <laughs> just wanna share it with somebody who may feel kind of stuck or like in the middle or like at a crossroads. Just, it's more. And do what it is that you know God has called me to do. He's calling me to do it. I know I'm here for a season. I wanna learn my lesson and not delay so he can move me to my next level. It's coming soon, I can feel it. I'm so excited, nervous, but that's a good thing because I mean, I'm out of my comfort zone. Like my comfort zone is gonna be behind me. It's gonna be so amazing. And I, I'm so excited. So these next two weeks, I'm gonna grind hard, get to it, get to this money, get to everything because I don't wanna, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Eat my salad. I'm gonna get my nails done really soon. This polish, look at it. 
it's like betraying me. Both of my thumbnails broke. You know how upset I was? And I don't know why, but going to the nail salon and like sitting there, it should be like pampering, but it's really not that enjoyable to me, to be honest. Like I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this process quicker. Now, these are my nails. I've been getting dipped. But what I did was I started taking collagen first to make my nails grow. And then once they started growing, I started uh, going to get my dip again. Cause boy, I wanted some acrylics. I was this close, you hear me? I was so close. trying to do my own nails. It just came out so bad. <laughs> Ow, I cannot do my own nails. I've never been able to. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the better paint jobs. <coughs> I'm gonna go to a nail salon. I just need this to get me through tomorrow. Y'all, I've been up watching Sacrifice, I think, on BET Plus, and that show is so good with Paula Patton. My sister randomly put it on. After watching that new series, Harlem, for the third time, she put on Sacrifice and now I can't, like I'm like on episode five and I think it's like 10 episodes and I'm gonna watch it for the rest of the night. I think, and it's already one o'clock. Oh, I gotta go to church in the morning to go to bed. Oh, I'm up, like I'm up, but it's okay. I'm gonna lay down, maybe I'll be down. Down, 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 down. I don't know, why am I whispering? I guess it's cause it's one o'clock, <laughs> people sleep. Like I need to be, all right, um, I'm already ready for bed. I just, I need to go lay down. <clears throat> mm -mm. Something in my throat, the chemicals from a nail polish or something's tickling me. You know they say it helps them grow, so I'm gonna say goodnight to my plants. And yeah, so I'm gonna water them first, actually. He's probably thirsty and then we'll go to bed. So. Good night, see you soon, bye.